Hey guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach. In this video, we're going to be talking about the news that Petco just shared this past week. I'm so excited to be bringing this to you. Let's get right into this video. All right, guys, so big news in the dog training field this week. Petco has decided to ban certain shock collar. They are no longer going to be selling a certain type of shock collar. Um, depending on what headline you have read, you might have thought that they're banning all shock collars. Um, fortunately, the type of shock collar they're banning, I'm hoping this is like a progression. This is something that they are starting with and they're going to continue to work on. But I wanted to show you exactly what Petco uh, has stated on their website and why this is such great news for all of us pet parents and the dog training community at large. So Petco on their website says stop the shock and they have a picture of a dog with a collar on with like a, a fake pair of scissors <laughs> showing like it's cutting it off which is really cute. It says on October 6, 2020 it ends today. Today we stop the pain for Buddy because he barks at the doorbell. We stop the stress for Sadie because she jumps for joy all over the neighbors when they walk in the door. And we stop the fear for Cooper because he prefers a good pair of sneakers over all the chew toys in the market. As of today, this was October 6, 2020, Petco no longer sells shot collars operated by a person with a remote in hand because as a health and wellness company dedicated to improving pet lives, they have no business in our business. And frankly, we believe there's a better way. So today we say out with shock collars and in with positive training. Of course, it goes on. But the really, really great news is that even though Petco isn't banning all shock collars, the shock collars that are used with a remote are being banned. And I think that is a wonderful step in the right direction. I really hope for the day when uh, no stores are selling any type of shock collar, shock fencing, um, prong collars, anything like that, that uses pain and fear on our dogs. Um, I really, really hope for that day one day soon, but the really good news is that uh, Petco right now, today, is no longer selling the type of shock color that you use with a in-hand remote. Um, I'm really over the moon ecstatic about this. Of course, I do, you know, as someone who understands how detrimental these types of training devices are on our pets and the relationship we have with our pets. I do hope that Petco continues in this light to really promote more positive training methods because as we know, and as I have said many, many times on this channel and entire videos dedicated to this, we know that the only scientific proven way to really alter our dog's behavior for the better is with positive reinforcement. Um, we are not in the business of harming our pets. We are not in the business of suppressing behaviors. That is so dangerous. That's how people get bit. That's how children get bit. We don't want that happening, right? We don't want our dogs to be in pain. We don't want our dogs to live in fear. We want a healthy, happy, harmonious home uh, with us and our pets and positive reinforcement training is the only proven way to get there. The only science backed, the only scientific way to get to that state with our pets. And so I'm really happy that Petco is really stepping up their game because as a business, right, the bottom line is the bottom line. Where are they making their money? And, you know, maybe they've seen a decline in those sales, so it was just easier for them to say, we'll use this as a PR move. Whatever it was, I don't know. Hopefully they, they looked at what they were selling and they looked at their mission statement and they said, these don't align. That's my hope. Uh, because if that's the case, if they looked at the products they were selling and they looked at their mission statement and saw they were not in alignment, which was true a week ago, um, if that's the case, then this is just one step to 
even bigger things happening, um, not just at Petco, but hopefully in the pet industry as a whole, because like I said, positive reinforcement training really is the way to go. And if you have been following me for any length of time, you know that to be true. I will go back to the Petco article, which also says, today we encourage anyone using or looking for shock collars to consider training with treats instead of electricity and partnership instead of pain. Today, we stop the shock, hashtag stop the shock, which I think is wonderful. Let's get this hashtag trending. I'm gonna include it in this video. If you are currently using a shock collar, or have used a shock collar, I really encourage you to post in the comments below um, and let me know, one, why you did that, and two, if you have come to the realization that that was not the appropriate thing to do or not. Um, I, I think open dialogue is key, right, to civilization. I think that just because you and I may not see 100% eye to eye doesn't mean that we have to hate each other. We can still have civil discourse, right? We can still talk to each other and provide each other with our viewpoints, which are going to help each other grow. And while I know in my heart and I know based on science, based on training hundreds and hundreds of dogs, um, and providing my online courses to thousands more pet parents and dogs and all of the testimonials that I've received, I know in my heart that positive reinforcement training is the only way to go. Uh, but I know that there are some people out there that have used shock colors. In fact, I know people in my life that still to this day use shock colors, even though I have given, given them every reason not to. Um, and you know, it is what it is. You do what you can in life. But I know that I have provided thousands of pet parents with information that they have told me they didn't know before. And it opened their eyes um, to different ways and better ways. And, you know, that's that's what this channel here is all about. Um, but if even if you have never used a shock collar and you know that one way or the other, or you did know that they weren't good, or maybe you didn't, you just had never used one, I'd like to hear from you as well. Let me know what's going on with you and your pet. Post that in the comments below. Um, I also want to encourage you to join the group, which there is a link for in the description. Of the, there are so many links in the description of this video, but I'm gonna go through them really quickly. There's the beginner dog training series right here on YouTube. I definitely recommend that you check that out. Go through it, whether you have done training with your dog and maybe stopped and didn't get through everything you wanted to do or if you've never done any training with your dog, I highly recommend you go through that playlist here on YouTube with your dog. It's definitely going to help build that bond with you and your dog. Join the group. Join the family. There are thousands of other pet parents in the group just waiting for you to join as well as myself. You can share pictures, share videos, you can ask questions, you can help others by answering questions. I don't know what you're waiting for. Go ahead and join the group. We're all waiting for you. Uh, really quickly, if you haven't already looked down there at that subscribe button, if it is red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video and I cannot wait to get new videos out for you guys. I also want to know what you want to know about, what you want to learn about. Maybe if you have questions or if you have something going on with you and your dog, post that in the comments below and it helps me figure out what to, what to make new videos on so that I'm making content that suits your needs, that you want to see, that's going to help you. Uh, post that in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. Thumbs up for Stop the Shock and thumbs up because you enjoyed this content. It's the best way to give me a compliment and let me know you like this video, but also to let YouTube know what kind of videos you like. I really hoped you enjoyed this video. Uh, short sweet, to the point, stop the shock. Thank you so much for being here with me today and I will see you in our next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.